The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com, and what a mess! I make the recommendations for this particular field of wheat, and I said, good to go, put the second shot of nitrogen on. Oh my gosh, incredible burn. It's 2021, mother nature. I mean, wheat prices are amazing. Everybody finally is paying attention to the wheat crop. They want big wheat yields. So up the nitrogen rate, because a few more bushels is gonna pay for that nitrogen. And split your nitrogen because we got a big wheat crop in the ground and we want to make sure we keep it standing. We don't want it to fall over. Then we get all these low temperature nights, cloudy days, and I guess the wheat crop has no cuticle. And guess what? We get burn, just horrible burn from 28% on the second application. So really good year to learn a few things. What have we learned? First off, I'm astounded. Variety makes a difference. If you have a variety with a very prostrate leaf, one that, that leans out and tries to canopy over, it burns worse. This particular variety actually isn't that bad. It's more of an upright leaf, and we still got this level of burn. It's unbelievable, but varieties make a difference. We've seen that in the variety test plots. Next. We also are getting tremendous differences in the streamer nozzles that we use. So I can tell you right now that this field was done with either a three stream or a five stream or a six stream nozzle. How can I tell that? Because we have streaks. If we did it with chafer bars or we did it with, with something that shot straight down, we get uniform burn, by the way, I was hoping that the chafer bars would give us no burn. No, we still got burn with the chafer bars, but it is more uniform. Here, wherever the leaf bends and we shoot that stream sideways, we seem to catch it worse and we get more burn. What else? Well, make sure that you don't do it on white frost. We've learned that before, but if it's a frosty night and we've had a ton of them, White frost is glue for 28% on the leaf, tremendous burn. Next, well, you know, maybe we should do it when the dew's on and dilute that 28%. That should work. Dang it, that doesn't work either. You actually need to do it when the plant is dry. If you're gonna do it in the rain, the rain will wash it off. You do it with the dew, it doesn't work. We want that 28 to hit the leaf and bounce off as much as we can. And last, Dilution actually makes a difference. So Mike Cobra at Joanna Fallings a few years ago, a couple years ago, tried to look at that and their data on a year where we weren't getting quite as much burn said that dilution didn't work. Well, this year, my own farm, oh, burnt the wheat like crazy. My neighbor diluted his 28%, one part water, one part 28%, almost no burn. So dilution does help from that perspective. What's the upside? Well, the upside is that fortunately, we don't think the yield impact here is gonna be very big. And you say, wait a minute, Johnson, how can that be when we have like, look at that leaf. We've got, I don't know, two thirds of that leaf gone. This one here, we've lost at least a third. How, how can I lose that much photosynthetic area and it doesn't have an impact on yield? Well, the answer is simple, that it's the upper two leaves that give us most of the yield. By the way, I hate burning wheat. Don't burn the wheat crop. Unfortunately, we burn it this early. Yes, we lose some photosynthetic area. No, it's not what I wanna do, but generally speaking, the yield impact is pretty darn small. Hopefully zero, but at least pretty darn small. One of those years where even doing the best job we can do, we're still seeing way more injury on that wheat crop than we'd ever like to see. The other side of it is that this wheat will stand better because we didn't put on 150 pounds of nitrogen in one shot early on. We split that nitrogen. And so now, yeah, a little burn, 
but it's going to stand better. We can manage lodging with nitrogen. Nonetheless, 2021, not being kind to us, we're still going to grow the best wheat crop we can. Peter Johnson, at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com, grow great wheat. <laughs>